All right, here we go with the new number one. So we got those off beats or up beats happening now. Sometimes this is referred to as syncopation, which is just, a, if you don't know, just a fancy word for saying, like, things feel weird. <laughs> that's, that's, that's about all I gather from it. Um, I like to call this stuff upbeat focus, because we're focusing on hitting upbeats very, uh, really well. So, keep that foot going with the metronome as long as you can. When things get going really fast, you may see that you'll tap your foot every first and third beat instead of every one, two, three, four. But that hand's got to be synced up like a human metronome the whole time. Just a nice down, up, down, up, down, up the whole time, whether you hit the strings or not. So remember, for like number one here, when you get to the downbeat of three, even though we're not playing anything on that, and we're letting a chord ring out, we still need to move down on the downbeat of three, so this way we keep a nice, fluid, smooth strumming motion. Say out loud the rhythm you're playing uh, from at least 60 to 120. Fantastic habit to build, and man, will it ever save a ton of time when it comes to learning and playing insanely difficult things we will get to insanely difficult uh, we'll get you prepared for that first all right so here we go 60 count of four let's get that volume up one two three four one two and and four one two and and four one Typically, I will bar the A and D strings for the open E5. If you want to continue doing this, that's okay. Just make sure you're only getting those strings, not those strings. We don't want to have a minor chord sound. We just want to keep the fifth chord sounding. So, every single time that you may accidentally hear an extra string while playing the E5, correct it immediately every single time you hear an extra note correct it immediately this way you have a much better chance of playing the e5 more consistently that whole perfect practice makes perfect idea here we go 120 one two three four one two and four one two and four one two and and four one two and four done 180 one, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty, one, two, a one, two, three, four. Number two, sixty, one, two, three, four, one. Have those chords ring out as long as possible, especially when you're staying on the same strings, like going from the A5 to the F5, or the G5 to the A5. Just make sure we don't cut those chords off any earlier. Well, shouldn't cut those chords off, period. Might be a little different getting into that open E5 and out of the open E5, but uh, yeah. You slide into those chords and strum at the same time, and you should be good. 120. One, two, three, four. 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 Number 
Number three. 60. So yeah, with the string changes here, can't really slide into those chords. So we want to wait as long as we can until it's time to change chords. So you'll be jumping into that next chord while you begin the downstroke motion. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and, and one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, eighty, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Remember, only work on the new stuff, no need to go back to the old, and of course play anything else that you'd like to do. So, any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again next week.